Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the nominal concrete and seal stresses due to the self weight at 28 days and we're looking at the sagging case. So, we're going to be looking at our cross section we've been looking at in the previous videos. So this cross section here, and we're going to assume it's continuous, so something like a bridge, alright? So we've got a continuous span. Now I'm providing you with the bending moment diagram because this is statically indeterminate. The maximum hogging moment is WL squared on 8 at the continuous support. And the maximum sagging moment is 9WL squared on 128, okay? It wouldn't be expect, expected you guys to work this out because it's statically indeterminate. We're going to say the length of our each span is 10 meters. Now, we're going to work out the self-weight of our beam. So, self-weight is just going to be the density times the gravity times the area. So, we have kilograms um, on meters cubed times gravity times meters squared would give us newtons per millimeter, okay? So, it's giving us a UDL. So that's what we want to work out. So for our beam, just to show you what it looks like, the density of reinforced concrete is 2,500. The gravity is G, 9.81. And the um, area is going to be given by this formula here. Okay. So the area of our beam is going to be this area plus this area. So this area is 1,200 by 100. In meters, that's 1.2 by 0.1 plus the area of this rectangle here, which is going to be 0.3 by 0.2. Okay, so if we were to work that out, doing the area 1.2 by 0.1 plus 0.2 by 0.3 times that by 9.81 times that by the density of concrete, we get a self weight of around 4414.5, dividing by 1000 to get into kilonewtons per meter we get 4.4 kilonewtons per meter. So that's the self weight of the structure. We know from the previous video that the cracking moment is 37.1 kilonewton meters, okay? So we now want to determine the maximum moment that our, um, our T-beam actually experiences. Now we're doing the sagging case, so the maximum sagging occurs at 9WL squared on 128. So that's gonna give us the maximum sagging moment. So the maximum sagging moment is 9WL squared, 